Yo, what's up, y'all? We got a guest today. He's a very important ESPN reporter, journalist, you know what I'm saying? Writer, thinker, you know what I'm saying? The new wave of ESPN that's not just old crotchety motherfucking ties. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, Pablo Kanye, Torre. Kanye named the album after him. That's right, the life of Pablo. Pablo, Pablo Torre. Give it up to him! Clearing up this uh, misconception, I always see it in your mentions. You're a filthy Mexican? Correct. I am a Chinese person with a Mexican name. Mm -hmm. Technically, that makes me Mexican. Right. Wow. Yo, shout I'm out to Filipino. The... See? Right, right. See? You know how mad people get when they're like, they're just Furious. in your mentions. Just like, you, every racial slur to you, it's just like, you're like, you're not even close. Like, you're not no, using no. the right ones. No. So just to clarify. You're colonialism a is a thing that exists. Mm -hmm. The Philippines was a colony of Spain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then America came in. Pablo That's why we love Sorry. spam. Is that really? true? <laughs> that is the history of the Philippines. There you go. You learned it all now. Now you're an expert on the Philippines. You wrote a 114 page thesis in college. I did. On? Child homicide in America. That's oh, lit. shit. That sounds dark. That's mad dark. How long did that take you? Uh, about, a, about a year. I was mean, that was, that, was my, that was my crowning achievement in college. Was it about? It comes up a lot now. Was it about people killing kids in America or about killer kids? It was about- One is lit and one's not. Correct. It was about children as victims of homicide. Oh, yeah, so yeah. that is the not, not lit, lit one. Yeah. Kids womp, murder womp, people. Womp. Yeah, kids running around shooting people. Is, I'm is... sure you were, you were tons of fun to hang around with with that. <laughs> it comes up a lot when I What are you working James on? Hard. I'm just looking at these dead kids. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, have matter, a question. I have a question for you guys. Yeah, so yeah, I'm sure you guys living in New York have, mm -hmm. as I have, mm -hmm. had both cockroaches show up in your apartment and mm -hmm. possibly mice show up in your apartment. Yeah, right. I've had both, you guys have had both. What is more difficult to exterminate? Roaches. For you. Um, like, I'm talking about a you roach. know, you're physically having to oh, do that. Oh, the physical? Oh, like kill Either. it itself? No, it's all day, baby. I'm from New York, you both can catch it. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you're real, you, you, you realize that you have become a real New Yorker when you step on a mouse like it's a roach. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, a baby just, mouse? Yeah, and yes. I've stepped on a baby yeah. I used to live in Chinatown in this loft with three other dudes. Yeah. It was like, insanely old and full of mice. Yeah. And there was a problem where you get these sticky traps yeah. and the mouse traps and they would not set those traps off or they wouldn't get caught because yeah. they were too small, too agile. Mm -hmm. And so what you have to do is take a toilet paper roll, yeah. right, cardboard, cover one side with duct tape, yeah. mm -hmm. put some peanut butter on the inside so the duct tape is holding the peanut butter, balance it on the edge of a kitchen counter, put your garbage can next to the counter. So it goes in. Turn the lights off, leave, wait, in my case, five minutes, the <laughs> mouse, which is <laughs> reckless as shit, Falls into the garbage can, you take your mm -hmm. anthology of poetry and you smash, smash it. it. Oh, or you take your yeah. Timberland and you're like, ah. Yo. You know when you know you're really a New Yorker when you see a cockroach and without any hesitation, you just yeah. with your bare hands. So apparently like, the big cockroaches are better to have in your apartment than the small ones. Yeah, because so, the big ones are water bugs, those aren't cockroaches. Well, they're water bugs. That's water what bugs. That's, that's, your, that's, that's your New York that's a New term. Yeah. <laughs> they're artisanal. Water bugs. That's, that's a straight easy deal. characteristic water bugs. Yeah. That's a roommate. Yeah, because yeah, water bugs sounds less offensive than cockroach. Yeah, cockroach. it's like, oh, this came skimming off of a lake of some sort. Yeah, and they get racist with it, they're like German cockroaches. They're like, whoa, I didn't know. Listen, we don't need to know his ethnicity. Come I'm on. trying to respect it. <laughs> you did a special on Sports Illustrated about athletes going broke. Yes. What was the craziest story you've heard about an athlete spending money? And what advice do you have for us? Because we're about to be out here, you know, spinning right. it, cheesing it up. Right. Um, so the best story, there are a lot of them, but the best story probably is that Tory Hunter was con. Tory Hunter, MLB center yes. fielder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Excellent Two defensive eyes. player, not so good at defending his pocketbook because mm -hmm. he invested in a series of devices that were flotation devices that you would put under your furniture in flood Freaks zones. Flood. I remember. So that when the flood happened, your furniture would be we'll inflated float and float it. away. Theo. Damn. Well, come on, y'all gotta have better people around you. See, there's some things that it's, anything that I feel that could be potentially sold on TV after 3 a.m., I'm not investing in. You know what I'm saying? Like, at all. Like, give me technology, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. Floating couches? I don't know. Unfortunately, if you're an athlete, you're exclusively getting those things. Yeah. You're getting like CDs thrown at you, business plans. Have you guys gotten any? Not yet. Pitches yet? You know what it is? People know we're getting money, but they also know we're from the Bronx and very cheap. So, yeah. no. I'm like, I, yo, I, you guys want to invest? I'm like, yeah, I got 20 on that. I still walk, <laughs> I walk two additional blocks to save 50 cents on blunt wraps. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not blowing my money. No way. You know how hard I work for this? No way. F that. Yo, you hung out with James Harden and Khloe Kardashian? I did. Yeah. While she was doing yeah, the Black Man Tour, uh, yes. 
in dangerous areas. Baby. I'm hanging out with a lot of people people don't like. Yo, <laughs> you stay in the green zone. Baby. What was James Harden's beard like? It was it was luxuriant, luxuriant, and he also had a money counter in his living room. What? I don't think any explanation is truly needed. You can kind of extrapolate from that what you might do with a money counter, why you might need it. I, I, I respect that. Yeah. I respect Damn, that. Just like so you get cash off the rip. Oh, man, it's beautiful. Yo, thanks for coming through, Pop. Oh, so hey. you. We gave you a rock during rehearsals, right? Do you still have it? Uh, no. Well, well, that's out for you, homie. But you got a new rainbow. Ooh, can we get Obama legacy, hashtag Obama <laughs> legacy over the top of this? Yeah. Okay. Ching, ching. <laughs> Mice have fur, and they can. there's potential for them to be like cute. But well, think about so, the yeah, movie Rats Ratatouille, are not cute at which all. by the way, so, that wasn't the name of the mouse, that was the name of the chef, right? Just so we're all clear. I know you people take it. Right? That was? has a French dish. That was what happened? It's a French dish, Ratatouille. We're talking about the movie, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pun. Stay in your yeah. literary character. Yeah. I feel like he just came on the blind side with facts. I'm so mad right now. <laughs> no, I want that. You know we don't do that on this show. No facts, no white people. Yeah. It's, a, it's a pun. Yeah. Rack tattooing. Thank pun. you. Thank you, guys. Now we know. Forget Pablo. Pablo, just leave. Today's lesson was on rack tattooing. Thank you. <laughs> You are watching the Jesus and Miro YouTube channel. So subscribe, it's click the buttons, us. all the buttons right here. This is the real YouTube shit. You know what I'm saying? Out here. Gang, gang. Squad.